Hey, this is Longasolo ever here, and we're talking about how to mod Friday Night Funkin'. Today we'll be covering how to install Psych Engine, which is my preferred modding engine, and how to compile the source code. This is the first and most important step in modding because without this, you can't put together all the pieces of the mod you've created into a final project. The first thing we need to do is install all the dependencies for Friday Night Funkin'. These are like the raw materials that Friday Night Funkin' was built on, and we need those raw materials as well to build our version. Now, like I said, we're going to be using Psych Engine, but the best instructions for building Friday Night Funkin' are actually on the Cade Engine website, in my opinion. I've put a link to this down below, so find the description and click this link, and then follow these directions along with me so we can install all the dependencies. First, we need to install Hacks. Hacks is the language that Friday Night Funkin' was written in, and it's the language that Hacks Flixel, the platform we're building this on, is written in as well. So we need to start here at step one. Click this link. Now, the Cade Engine page links you to version 4.1.5. We want the newest version of Hacks. Cade was built on an older version. So we're gonna go to Download up here, and that should take you to uh, whatever the current version is. This is 4.2.4, but just use whatever the latest version and then download the 64-bit Windows installer. When that's completed, we can close out of this tab and move on to step two. Next, we need to install Hacks Flixel. Hacks Flixel is a game engine written in Hacks. And to install this, we're actually going to need the command prompt. So to access PowerShell, we're gonna head down to our start button in the bottom left corner. You can type PowerShell and you should see Windows PowerShell as an app. We're gonna click on that and you should be greeted with this nice new screen. Let's move that so we can see the prompts we need to type in. These need to be typed in exactly. Getting one letter, even getting the capitalization of one letter wrong can ruin all of this. So make sure you're typing everything exactly as you see it. We're gonna type these commands in one at a time, pressing enter after each one, starting with hackslib install lime. Now, I already have all these installed, so I'm not gonna go through these and type them again, but just know you have to type each of these on screen, hackslib install lime, openfl, flixel, and then hackslib run lime setup flixel, run lime setup, install flixel tools, run flixel tools setup, hackslib update flixel. So pause the video here, run each of those in order, and then come back when you're done. This could take 10, 20 minutes. Okay, you're all done? You sure? Good. We can close that tab, head back to our Cade Engine instructions, and now we have a whole bunch more commands to run. Next, we have to install something called Git. Now, if you watched the previous video, you know GitHub is a code management tool that lets us kind of back up and keep a perfect history of every change we've made to our code, our songs, our assets, our visuals, everything. And Git is the platform that's all built on. We're gonna be using Git to install some more of these tools as well. So head to the Git SCM website. You can see the link right here. And we're gonna download and install the Windows version of Git. Go do that, pause this video, come back in a second. Okay, you're done? Good, we can close out of this window. And now we have a whole bunch more commands to run. Again, make sure you type these absolutely exactly as you see them on screen. No capitalization changes, no extra spaces or anything like that. Literally exactly the same as you see them. Now, the one I've seen people get tripped up on is this very last one where it says Lime Rebuild Extension WebM and then IE Windows blah, blah, blah. This is, you're not supposed to type this part. You should just type Windows there. So the final command should be Lime Rebuild extension webm windows okay because we're on windows uh the Cade engine team was just saying like whichever one you're on but we're on windows so just type windows there it should look exactly like this and run that okay there is one last step we need to do on windows and that is to install some visual studio dependencies these are just kind of like built-in stuff windows needs to build windows programs and to, do, to get that, you can just Google Visual Studio 2019, click here. You should be going to a Microsoft address. Don't go anywhere else. So download the Visual Studio installer. And then, this is really important, uh, don't click on any of the options to install workloads. Go to the Individual Components tab and choose the following. So let's walk through that. Okay, we're going to download the community version of Visual Studio. We can say, yes, this is allowed to make changes. Continue. And now this is an important step. You do not want to check any of these workloads. So make sure these are all unchecked. 
under workloads. Then we're going to go to individual components, and there's only a couple specific ones we want. Let's check the Cade Engine page. We want MSVC version 142, 2019 C++ x64 x86 builds. So let's find that. Again, we got to be so exact with this. So I'm actually just going to type in uh, 142, and let's find MSVC v142 vs2019 C++, x64, x86, build tools. That's exactly what we want. And then the other one we want is the Windows SDK. And do they specify a specific one here? 17763. Okay, this specific version of the Windows SDK is not listed here, but we're gonna install just the latest Windows 10 SDK since we'll be building for the latest version of Windows 10. Nobody's using Windows 11 yet. Then you can hit install and wait for that to finish. Okay, we are now done with the Cade Engine build instructions and you can close this window and you can close the Visual Studio window. And now move over to the Friday Night Funkin' Psych Engine instructions. I've also put the link to this down below, just below the Cade Engine build. And this is where we're gonna be getting our actual code that we're using to mod Friday Night Funkin'. Next, we'll need to install Lua JIT, which is a framework that's gonna let us use Lua for mod charts and other events and all kinds of fun stuff in the middle of songs. You're gonna open up PowerShell one more time and you're gonna type exactly this. You can copy and paste it as well, just so you know. Just make sure you don't get any extra spaces in there or anything. You just highlight exactly that and then paste it. Hit enter and install that final piece. Next, we need to download Psych Engine. We need to get the pieces we're gonna to put together into our mod. From the Psych Engine page, we are going to go to Code and then Download Zip. Okay, you should get a nice little zip file you've downloaded. We're gonna put this somewhere in your Documents folder or if you have a separate drive you wanna use for this, let's put it there and just remember where you put it because we're gonna to need to know exactly where it is in a moment. I'm gonna put this in uh, I have a work drive that I use. It's my X drive. Uh, and we're going to put this in a new folder called psych right in the middle of my X drive. Now, if I head over there, there we go. We can see we have this psych engine main folder. And here is a whole bunch of source code and all kinds of junk that we're going to put together into a finished game. Now, keep this window open. We're going to need exactly this information in just a second. Now we're gonna download and install GitHub Desktop, which is a program on your computer that interfaces with this site, GitHub, to do all that code management and backup stuff I was talking about earlier. To get there, you wanna to go to desktop.github.com. You can just type that in. It should take you right here to the download page for this app. You are gonna download and install GitHub Desktop. Now I've already installed it, so you go do that, pause this video, come back, and when you open it up, you are gonna choose New Repository. Uh, a GitHub repository is just the name for a, a single project, a single folder you're backing up and keeping track of. It's going to ask you for some information about this. We're going to name this uh, My First Psych Mod. And you can give it any description. If you have a name for your character that you want to make, you can name this that. Anything you'll remember so you can keep track of this. Next, where it says Local Path, we need to know what folder we put that in earlier. Let's go back to this folder. Do you see this little uh, kind of breadcrumb trail here of folders? Just click to the right of it in this empty space and you'll get an actual path name, some text. I'm gonna copy that and paste that right here. Leave it exactly as is. And you're gonna click Create Repository. And this is gonna learn all the pieces you have in that folder already. And it's all set. You should see zero changed files and you're good to go. The last step is to actually compile all this source code and all these assets into a working file. To do this, we're gonna open PowerShell one more time and you're gonna type a new command exactly as I say it. First, we need to copy this from before, this path. And in PowerShell, you are gonna type CD, like a, like a CD, and then space, and then paste the path to your mod. Now, CD is a command in uh, Unix code that means current directory. Uh, basically saying, go to this place, set the place we're at to this exact location. Uh, so we're gonna type CD space, the path you're going to, hit enter, and you'll notice it now says we're there. That's where we are now. That's our location. Next, you are going to type lime test windows. And you are going to type this phrase so many times. Trust me. Hit enter. And now go make a cup of tea or something. Uh, come back in a few minutes because uh, this is going to take a long time. You'll start seeing some code appear on screen in just a few moments.
I actually did go make a cup of tea. Anyway, so you can see we have a functioning copy of Friday Night Funkin' here. And that is the first step to creating your mod is just getting things working. Next up, we're creating our very own character and modding it straight into the game. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll get back to you there. Thank you so much for watching and happy modding.